Good morning adventurers. We're here in Glasgow in Scotland and our mission today is to find some awesome free activities that we can do so that you guys when you come here hopefully you can do all these things as well without having to spend a bunch of money. So here we go. So at first we're gonna go check out the Lighthouse, which is Scotland's Center for Design and Architecture. I think it was open in 99 and it's free, so let's go check it out. So all of this typography is done with like proper letterpress, which is if you're not familiar with it, it's basically letter forms, like physical letter forms that you paint on top of, and then you press the paper on top of it. Then you make these beautiful pieces of art. We're heading to the Glasgow Necropolis, which is maybe not necessarily a fun thing to do, but it's a really um, neat place to come and walk around and it has some really great views from the top. So um, it's from the 1800s, so it's a Victorian um, cemetery, but they said over the years there were 50,000 people buried here total, and now all that's left are 3,500 monuments. There are all these like huge elaborate doors to these tombs and they go off like in there's like little hallways and corridors down there. It's really, really it's interesting, really creepy. <laughs> we've come over to the uh, Riverside Museum, which is this gigantic transport museum. It has tons of old school trains and cars and bikes and all kinds of stuff, ships. And uh, they've actually got a huge ship out here and the museum is completely free and the ship is completely free to explore as well. Before we go inside, we're gonna take a look at the ship. The ship is called the Glen Lee and it was built in 1896. It has had a lot of history. Looks a little dirty over you here. missed a spot over there. A lot of people can say that they've actually swabbed this. Yeah! <laughs> These kids are really going to town. This boat's gonna be clean as a whistle. This wheel's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> nope, wrong way. Oh my god, that terrified me. I was not expecting it. Oh god, never do that again. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew this boat would be so much fun? Yeah, and it's completely free. But now we're gonna go check out the proper museum over there. Check out this double-decker trolley car. I've never seen this before. That is intense. This is pretty amazing. 
This is believed to be the world's oldest surviving bicycle from 1846. That is insane. It's insane. It looks very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> That ended up being uh, really cool, you guys. We had a lot of fun in there. If you're in Glasgow, you definitely have to check this museum out. It's definitely worth it. Plus, it's free. Although, there is an optional donation, so if you enjoy it, make sure you give them a couple euros at least, or a couple pounds. Our last stop is the Glasgow Botanic Gardens. Um, they were created in the 1800s, and now they have all these little glass houses that you can walk through. In the winter, they close a bit early, though, so we're gonna try and sneak in. But they're all free, and there's even a little tea house if you want some afternoon tea. Hey, buddy. Cool guy. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? That is the cutest thing in the I don't have anything for you, sorry. So each part of this area is divided up by like a different region on Earth. So this section here is Africa, then we just went through Australia and Asia. It looks like someone's having a wedding in here, to, here today. It's a pretty sick spot for it's a wedding, amazing. huh? I think these are all the guests over here. <laughs> This is called the pitcher plant. Apparently bugs get like lured inside of this thing and they fall inside of this little cup here and then they can't get out and it essentially eats them, I guess. <laughs> That's one way to do it. This region is more like the desert. And it smells amazing in here. What does it smell like to you guys? Aloe and just, stuff. Just like everything's flowers. mixing yeah. together. It smells amazing. Very floral. Okay, we found the source of the smell. It's all of these all badass of flowers. Dude, they smell so, so good. Pristine. Yeah. So apparently, this is a vanilla plant. I always wondered what it looked like, but this stuff here is the vanilla, right? Yeah. This here seriously feels like a sword. When you squeeze it, like, that is not pliable at all. It is so strong. You guys, they're kicking us out. If you do end up coming here, make sure you come uh, well before 4.15 so you have more time to explore. In the summer, it's open a bit later, but you'll have to check the hours for that. So we're completely famished. We're gonna head to dinner, but I think we're gonna leave you guys right here. I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, if you did, make sure that you uh, leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought of it. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and hit that like button because it lets us know that you guys enjoy this kind of content. Yeah, and we'll make sure to link below to everywhere we visited so that you can go and check it out yourselves later on. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.